The practical goal of pronunciation training is acquisition of an intelligible enough pronunciation and the errors that can cause misidentification or fatal errors. In this work, we put a special focus on Japanese English because in JE, misidentification may occur not rarely. The number of phonemes uh, is much smaller in Japanese than in American English, and generally speaking, uh, learners often substitute their own L1 phonemes for new L2 phonemes, and thus it is expected that JE words are found to be acoustically closer to each other than American English words. Now, in this work, lexical density analysis is conducted using word embeddings. Lexical density of Japanese is compared to that of American English under several conditions. This table shows the number of phonemes of American English and Japanese, and we can say that Japanese is a very compact language. And this table shows a list of typical phoneme substitutions found in Japan Japanese English. In Japanese, L and L sounds are perceived as identical, and because Japanese has only five vowels, some American English vowels are merged. Using these rules, we can simulate Japanese English word productions using an American English speech synthesizer. What kind of corpus we used? Wall Street Journal was used for training acoustic word embedding extraction, and English read by Japanese, ELJ, was used for sampling Japanese English word productions. Two methods of multi-view Siamese and corresponding autoencoder were used for acoustic word embedding extraction. These two are loss functions for the two methods, and the theoretical differences between the two are explained in our paper. As for metric for lexical density, we used the number of clusters generated by bottom-up clustering with a mer uh, merging threshold theta. So this is a typical example of relation between the number of clusters and the merging threshold theta. The smaller the number of cluster is, uh, the larger the, the lexical density is. So Japanese English has higher lexical density, something like this. Experimental results are shown here. Comparison between Japanese English and American English is done under different conditions. So in any graph, uh, lexical density of Japanese English is higher than that of American English, but detailed discussions are omitted in this presentation. Please read our paper. As far as we know, this is the very first work for applying acoustic word embedding to lexical density analysis of L2 speech. In our paper, some theoretical implications are added to revise the principle of functional load. If you have any interest, please read the paper. Thank you.